Hello, this is Kat's Diamond Painting. Welcome to my channel or welcome back if you've joined me here before. I am here today to do another unboxing. Um, this is a painting that I actually bought back in December. I've had it in the house a couple of weeks now but haven't got around to unboxing it but I thought I would do that with you today. So as you'll have seen from the title of this video, today I am unboxing Next To You and it's a large painting, so that picture is teeny tiny, um, but it gives you a little taster of what we're going to be looking at today. This is a painting that originally came out in April last year, um, and the reason that I remember that is not just because I'm a bit of a nerd, <laughs> um, but also because I remember very clearly that it was part of Diamond Art Club's uh, four year of operating sort of anniversary extravaganza. So they did this whole thing when they'd been um, trading for four years and they released, I think it was like 50 new designs or something like that. And this was one of the really popular ones. And at the time I liked it, but there were others I liked more and I didn't want to buy too many. Um, but also this one sold out like super, super, super quickly, um, both times, because I think they did um, an early release for Diamond members in the reward structure and then um, like the next day or something they did a general release for everyone else and it sold out really quickly both times so I didn't even try for it but yeah I, I just figured I'd leave it and it's been back since and I resisted but it came out before Christmas um, and I happened to have a little bit of personal spending money spare um, so yeah. I decided to go for it. I really like Richard Lorenz's work. I've kind of jumped ahead a step there, haven't I? <laughs> so this is another painting by Richard Lorenz. Um, if you have watched my channel for a while, you may have seen me previously work on another painting of his, Family Circus. Um, and that is still one of my favourite paintings I've ever worked on. Um, and I bought another one by him during the Black Friday sales, which was Cletus. Um, early bird or something like that I think it's called um, so yeah I do really like this artist I haven't bought any of the other ones that have been released to date by Diamond Art Club um, either because funds weren't there at the time or because um, like some of them I wasn't so keen on the rendering some of them were done reasonably small and in rounds and I, I just Personally, they didn't do it for me, um, but at the same time, I do applaud that Diamond Art Club tries to produce paintings in a range of sizes and a range of, of drill size shapes. <laughs> so that is the story of why I have this painting. Um, so yeah, I'm going to get stuck in today and have a look. So it's a square painting, um, and as I said, it's huge. Just to clarify exactly what I mean by that, this painting is 137 centimetres long by 51 centimetres wide. I mean, to put it in context, I'm pretty short. I'm 150 centimetres tall. So this is by far the longest painting I've ever had to work on. I will say, though, because it's not actually that wide, um, if you kind of add it together, it's it's not so horrendous. Like I looked at the number of diamonds on it and I think it was something like 109,000. And I do have paintings in my stash with more than that. Like my very biggest ones that are sort of 105 centimeters by 70 centimeters, they have more diamonds than this. It's just the dimensions are different. But I like that. I think that compared to those ones, this is gonna be easier to work on. Um, because it's just like on my easel because this isn't too wide I can just like I won't have to move it around side to side I can just roll it up roll it up lengthways I'm probably making no sense but anyway my point is I'm not as daunted by the size of this as I am by some of the other large paintings in my stash however it's going to be a challenge for me to film <laughs> I'm obviously not going to be able to um, get it all in shot um, so I'll, I'll kind of I'll pan for it a bit but I'll, I'll do a proper pan over it at the end for you. Anyway jumping ahead in my excitement let's have a look at our toolkit. So we have one of Diamond Art Club's newer style toolkits. I say newer style you're pretty much always going to get this one now unless you're buying a painting that has been in stock with them for quite a long time. Um, so we get our applicator pen with a comfort grip, heart-shaped wax um, in a container, 
Um, we get our tray with a tray stopper, two multi places. Love to have lots of those in stock because they do wear through the plastic ones and I use them a lot. Um, a cover minder and washi tape, or oh, some of my favourite parts. Ziploc baggies, which I keep aside for when I'm going to get a painting down later on. And tweezers because it's a square painting. So let's see what we got. We've got a clear tray. They have been transitioning to white trays, which I kind of prefer. But I say that and, you know, I don't I don't really use their trays. <laughs> it doesn't really matter. That's just me being, um, being a collector. <laughs> but yeah, here we have the tray and stopper. We have our baggies. We have a yellow pen and squishy this time. I do like how they colour coordinate them. There's our wax in a little caddy. Here are our murder tweezers. It's always very sharp. Actually, these aren't the sharpest I've had. <laughs> they might be quite good to actually use. <laughs> um, our two little multi-placers, the four-placer and the seven-placer. I love that they send both of these. Now I've transitioned to using a seven-placer. It's really good to keep getting more of those in these kits. Washi tape. Not quite sure what that pattern is. It's a bit confused, but it's pretty. And... Oh, I love that cover minder, but ah, I've had this happen before. Those are stuck together, like the glue's gone in the wrong place or something. I'll have to see if I can break it off. I've just bent my nail trying because I really like that. I want to be able to use that. Otherwise, I could always just borrow the magnet from another cover minder and put it on the back and then it'll just be super strong. <laughs> but yeah. I'm really happy with that one. Okay, let me get that packed away. Right, I really had to fight with that to get it packed away and it's still bulging up a little bit in this top corner. I'm normally better at packing them away, but yeah, anyway, it's done. So let's take a look. And this box, by the way, is heavy because they... She said boxes based on the size of the shorter side of the painting. Um, so this one is in a sort of medium sized box. However, as previously discussed, it's got a lot of drills. So I'm slightly worried that this bag of drills will be hard to roll up back in here. We shall see. I'm not going to get the drills out of their bag at all for that reason. Um, but then I, I never really do, so <laughs> you'll be used to that from my unboxing style. Okay. Oh, lovely and soft. It's funny how much I enjoy these soft backings because, like, that's not, you know, you're not working on the back of the diamond painting. It's kind of not relevant in a way. And yet... Anyone who has bought from Diamond Art Club tends to really know what I mean about how much I appreciate the softness. Okay, let's tip out our innards and have a look. So if this were to be the very first painting that you had bought from Diamond Art Club, you would find in here a useful booklet. Well, you'll find it regardless, <laughs> but maybe not so much use for more seasoned diamond painters. Um, so it thanks you for your purchase. Then it gives you tips and tricks. It tells you what's in your kit. Um, it gives you a link to a step-by-step -step video instruction. It has an invitation to their VIP Facebook group. If you are a Facebook user and you have purchased a kit directly from Diamond Art Club, you should be eligible to join. And it is a nice, fun community and lots of ideas and tips and tricks in there. Step-by-step -step instructions in here as well. Again, if this is your first ever diamond painting, you will likely find those helpful. And also some codes. We've got like 20% off your first purchase for your app um, and a 10% one here. There are always codes available for Diamond Art Club. Um, have a look for codes. If you have never bought from them before, I do have an affiliate link, which is posted in the description box and will give you $10 off your first purchase or the equivalent value in your own currency. Um, other creators also have... Um, uh, affiliate codes diamond art club themselves puts out lots of codes you'll probably find one right there on their website so one thing to note with diamond art club is their prices look high at first glance they are higher than some other companies because it is a premium product 
but also you never have to pay the price that you actually see. And even if you do, because they've got a painting really discounted, so they're not allowing you to use um, to use any additional codes on top of it, you're still able to join their rewards program and get cashback points um, on your purchase. So yeah. The price that you pay in the end when you've taken all of that into account is considerably lower than what it looks like at first glance. Okay, so let's take a closer look at the painting because if you're not familiar with it, you won't really have any idea yet. <laughs> so here it is. Oh, it's so sweet. I love these little owls and I, I kind of, I think one of the reasons why I didn't buy this originally is I don't always go for kind of more like cutesy style paintings. I often look at them and think, oh, that's really sweet, but it's not my personal aesthetic. But this one, the more I looked at it, the more it made me think of my husband and I. Um, it says down here, my favourite place to be is next to you, next to me. And I love that. And that really resonates for me and, and my husband. And it says sweethearts together in lovebird lane and it's just it's a bit funny and kooky and it just it really grew on me um enough to want to pick it up on this restock so yeah <laughs> i put that aside and then realized i hadn't actually looked at the colors yet so we have 64 colors in this painting um becoming fairly typical actually particularly for larger paintings they often have a lot of colors these days which I like. Um, I will say a lot of these colours are going to be kind of greys and browns because if you notice on here, the outside of it, there's a lot of kind of background filler colours and there'll be a lot of that, but that's fine. We'll multi-place through that. It'll go quickly. We have five AB drills, which are Aurora Borealis drills with an extra special coating on so they sparkle more. Um, they are under DMC code 150 in Diamond Art Club's way of doing things. So that's how I know that. Um, and I like my ABs. They, uh, they, they make nice accents in a painting, which I enjoy. Don't like working with them, but that's a whole other story. <laughs> and there's lots of nice brighter colours in the mix as well. It's a bit more muted overall than, say, Family Circus was. Um, but there are some really nice pops of colour that I think are going to be enjoyable when I get to them. I'll show you the big bag of drills now um, because as I say I'm not going to try and open this because I'm worried if I open it even the tiniest little bit I won't get it wrapped up tightly enough to be able to put this away and I store all my paintings in my cupboard in their original boxes so I don't want to not be able to get them in so I apologize that you can't see them very well but it does give you a good idea of the color palette as I said, lots of browns and sort of neutral shades and then some pops of colour. So it's not going to be the most colourful painting to work on. Um, but as I said, I think a lot of it should go quite quickly. I think I can see. Yeah, there's some ABs just in case you don't know what I'm talking about. Those white ones there. Can you see when I move it? They have just a sort of extra bit of sparkle from that special coating. Oh, and we have a red one there as well, which may be a little easier to see. And a green one right next to it. <laughs> so there we have some of our extra sparkle. Um, oh, and there's a yellow one. And not sure about the last one, but there you go. So there's a little idea of the colour palette that you're going to see with this painting. Okay. Let's see, what can I do to make it so you can at least see this a little bit better? Let me try raising this camera up a little bit so you can at least see the whole height of the painting. <laughs> okay, that's about as good as I can manage for now. So I'm gonna show you what I can here. It is far too long for the space I'm working in. So I'll show you a little bit now, we'll look at some bits up close. And then after that, I'm gonna put it on my floor and I'm going to pan over it for you. So let's have a go at flattening this, first of all. Diamond Art Club, like many quality companies who use pork glue, um, have canvases that flatten really nice and easily. So you can just leave them and they will flatten. But also because it's poured glue, um, I can fold it back on itself like this and that will help it to flatten kind of instantly. <laughs> Which is good for the um, impatient amongst us, like myself. <laughs> oh my 
gosh, there's a lot of it. <laughs> I have a feeling that even after what I said earlier about not being so intimidated by it, once I see this all, like, unrolled, I might revisit that opinion. Okay. Whoa. <laughs> literally heard it hit the floor. Wow. Right, let me do this properly. So you still can't see the entire height. There. Okay. I don't want to do too much because when I zoom out, it, the picture goes a bit fuzzy. Um, but yeah. So my favorite place to be is next to you, next to me. That's like my favorite part of it. I love this butterfly. Let me bring that up. I didn't really pick that out before, but isn't that lovely? So much detail in that. Okay, so you see the huge sections of colour blocking that I mentioned. Um, good thing that I can now colour block with a larger multiplacer. I think actually this was another reason I didn't buy it originally. I just thought all that sort of grey-brown background would be too dull. But now I think I can get through that a lot quicker. And this will be the kind of painting that I work on at the same time as I've got a really confetti heavy piece on the go um, because this will be one that I can pull out for a break when I'm done with confetti and then I'll go back to the other one. Very tactical about how I approach my diamond painting but that's what keeps it fresh for me. I see lots of sections already where there's ABs because on the schematic here you can see that ABs have the symbols one, two, three, four, five. So I can see lots of ones around here. I can see lots of twos in here. So some quite big blocks of colour. Twos in the roses. There's some fours in the butterfly. Um, so a combination of accents in things like the butterfly. And then some quite big blocks of them. Okay, let's scroll along. Oh, look at the little owls. <laughs> Uh, nothing about them actually reminds me of me and my husband. Well, like, you want a stupid thing to say, of course not. We're not owls. <laughs> but, like, we're not particularly, um, you know, I'd love to be the person who can rock flowers in my hair and that kind of thing, but I am not. And my husband would never dress like this in a million years. But I don't think that's the point, is it? <laughs> it's just the idea of it, the idea of the kind of, yeah. You're the one I need. <laughs> You're the one I want to be with. Gosh, this is getting a bit gooey, isn't it? I hope he never watches it. It's a good thing I don't think he watches my channel because he'd be horrified. <laughs> oh, I love it though. I love these little owls and their cute faces. I really enjoyed them on Family Circus, which if you've watched my videos about that, I explained. That one kind of resonated because it made me think of my family. So my parents and my three siblings and I, um, I kind of chose an owl for each of us and then really enjoyed working on them like that. AB's again up in the sort of fronds of his head feathers <laughs> and down here those are the white ones and then yellows in the flowers kind of where you'd expect and yet these bits of colour are just going to really pop out aren't they like red flowers, red bow tie, bright blue eyes, yellow flowers they're going to be gorgeous. Right let's keep going it's so big <laughs> There we are. There's the rest of it. So yeah, more of the same. Lots and lots of background. Let's see these flowers. These flowers, I think, look really nice. And when I've seen pictures of it, I think they've been rendered really nicely, which makes a difference because roses are tricky. So really happy I picked it up. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to try and lay this out on my floor and get a nice picture of it. Um, and um, just pan over it a bit more closely for you so that you can see the detail because I know I've had to do it from quite far away. Um, and then I'll come back and say goodbye. <laughs>
so there you have it, a slightly closer look. I hope that that helped. Um, if you are interested in purchasing this painting, it is now out of stock again. Um, I don't know how long it will take till it comes back because it's only just been in stock so it might be a few months. However, next time I bet you'll get a chance to buy it. With these really popular paintings, what tends to happen is that first they really sell out incredibly quickly and then they start coming back for restocks and each one lasts just a little bit longer. <laughs> and this restock did last a few days so by the next time it comes back you'll probably have a decent chance to buy it. Um, yeah. Okay, <laughs> I'll leave this here. I've got to get better at finishing these videos. I never know what to say. So all I will say is thank you for watching and goodbye. I'll see you again soon.